Hey guys, Infidel1258 here. I'm a couple days late, but I recently discovered the Discord post that reveals the new promo cards. Baron Fiat. I'm going to say Fiat. And Henchling Enforcer. And I'd just like to share my thoughts on what I think about these cards. How meaningful do I perceive them to be? Are they must have? Is one grit better than the other? Uh, I haven't prepared my remarks, so I am just going to be talking off the cuff. But clearly, these are interesting, and every time we see a new promo card, I feel like there's a there's cause for, let's say, pause because they do seem to impact the meta. If we look at no farther than Grim Burden Smith or even the Halfling Alchemist, who was the first to bring in this halfing. Uh, ability and now here we see it twice again my first reaction as i look at these cards is that of course like everything i wish i could have them but my second pretty quick to follow remark is that i don't know that i feel they are particularly powerful let's go one by one baron fiat so two ma magic damage, not very high. Fire and death, that's pretty cool. I love the, I love it. I love how we can do two splinters now more and more often. I do think that makes room for some crazy new partnerships. But having said that, you know, when, when you look at the which fire summoners that exist or which death ones, we're not getting any plus magic damage doers, unless we are which could yet be one of the new legendary summoners, which have plus the magic damage. And that might change the entire picture of what I'm saying here. But I would say three magic damage would be pretty interesting for five cost, and two magic damage is pretty easily overlooked. That's what I would, that's my initial response to this. Let's go a bit deeper. You know, when we look at two speed, so slow and yet not quite slow enough one would be better than two if you're going to be slow i'd like you to just be slow and then but redeeming qualities that do make me interested of course having the having ability cuts your opponent's damage in half rounding down i think let's read the the post because i want to get that right so the having the first time this unit hits the target, the target's attack is cut in half, rounded down. There we go. So saving grace for a card like this. First of all, the art looks amazing. Second of all, it's not a lot of mana, but it is not, it's greater than four, meaning it can't be in all of the small mana matches. It also can't be used in Little League. So it doesn't do a lot of damage. It's not very fast. It doesn't have a lot of stats. The partnerships don't seem to make sense with the summoner that 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 at least exists currently but the having ability is very powerful and it is really important to have that and there are so many times where halfling alchemist has helped me win and so i would argue this ability is very strong in and of itself and when we add to it the kit of of ambush we expect to see baron fiat fire in the in the zero round as well as the first round meaning he might he might rock his having twice and so the scatter shot actually makes a lot of sense with that because you want to avoid taunts and you want to you want to hit multiple targets one in round zero one in round one that makes this card interesting to me but generally speaking, I feel like this is over. This is easily overlooked, unless I we see a new fire or death summoner that increase magic damage output. I don't know that I like this card. I don't know that I would find this card in my rotation. And as I break it down even farther, you know, I don't know at all that I see a big difference between between even rank three level three and level four you get the blind but you get no other stats and the blind is obviously really powerful we love blind but again as i alluded to with the speed this is not a fast card and so it's not like this is going to lean into an evasive play and generally speaking i want 
my cards to really synergize on one level. If it's if it's offering blind, I want it to be itself a fast card. That would be synergistically like cohesive. But when we have a two speed card that brings blind, I know the blind can help other cards as well, but there's just an incongruency or an, there's like um they just that those two abilities or that that stat d distribution and that ability don't drive and so for lack of cohesion for lack of power for lack of you know utility within the five mana space for being legendary and and that has restrictive capacity on your rule sets as well and for the kit just being a little underwhelming i think this is to me a non-buy a big path to changing that vision would be if there was a new summoner on one of these two teams fire or death or maybe both that increased magic damage output yeah that's my general thought on fiat or baron on henchling enforcer i say the art looks great i love the new art style this is just you know that you can see the shading looks amazing the new the backgrounds with the two colors look sick I like the simplistic background with like this is life and this is water and this is death and this is fire instead of all of the every card was different that probably saves them time too in producing new cards i would think now let's talk about uh henchling from a from a stats perspective this card looks far more stat heavy we again we see the having which is powerful and desirable and i probably on first glance like this card more than i like this card because I already see synergies. We get life, you get Sloan. General Sloan gives a plus one damage output to archery monsters. And also with the water team, you get the, the new tactics summoner if you want. You could give two archery damage output to Henchling Enforcer, which would be really interesting because he's got camo. And so camo means he's hidden. And if he's hidden and he's dropping massive bombs, in that case, we're dropping four plus two is six. You know, you could um, you that's a real big powerhouse that's just hiding in the back line with the true strike, by the way, and the having. So I actually like this card a lot more than I like Baron. Everything from the 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 elements that are partnered, the summoners that work alongside with it, the stats are far higher. And so in and of itself, the stats alone make me want to play them. The mana cap is only slightly higher. And frankly, I would say there's much more usefulness or utility for a card like Henshin Enforcer than there ever will be for Baron. Again, totally changes if there's a new summoner that comes through and adds one, two damage to the, to the card. Uh, and Camo is great. Or, yeah, I mean, ambush is amazing. And yes, it is cool. You would get two of the halvings fired off, but you don't know that they're going to land in two different situations. So again, Baron feels like I'm going to do without. Henchling Enforcer looks like a strong card, and I do think I would love to have it. But man, this price tag. For both of them, I say the price tag to me is probably prohibitive. I do not believe I will be buying either of these cards. The, car, the cost is just too significant. When we say 31000 30 bucks per BCX and we need probably you'd want six of them. You're talking 180 bucks, even with DEC discounts because of DEC being below peg. Still 150 bucks. I don't have that and I don't think this card's worth it. Uh, and with Henchling Enforcer, when we go $3 per and we look at the discounts, maybe we call it two bucks per and I know you can use vouchers to increase the discount. So if you just said $2 per BCX, just for easy numbers and you said you won't, you need 200, uh, uh, 115 to get that max copy we're talking 230 that's a lot of money for a rare card maybe it's worth it because the kit does really seem to be synergistic and cohesive within the context of those two those two elements and i love the camo and you know it's not 20 mana 10 mana nine mana so you probably can throw this in the back line on most of your teams and just let it be a really dangerous contributor but going a little deeper on you know that's I just talked about the highest level, 230 bucks with all your disc possible discounts. I don't think so, not for me anyways, not right now. But what about at a lower level? You get the camo at 85, you could do that and that would be pretty powerful. Now you are losing a damage output, but you still have the camo, you still have the true stuck, you shoot, still have the having, you still have great hit points and armor. And you know, it's still a strong, strong card. 85 R B BCX would be really great to have. If I wasn't going to aim at that, I become less and less interested in this card. 
But notice the, the three damage output is available even at level two. And so is the having. I would say this is the sort of card you want to have at least five BCX of. Yeah. If you were to spend 15 bucks on this card and get yourself a level two, I think you're going to find that that finds its niche in your rotation from time to time. Is it perfect or excellent or amazing? Only three damage. I know it's not that much, but again, that works with these two, these two splinters, these two elements. The having is a powerful ability, and it has that one protective armor plus the you know decent amount of hit points. I'd say at least level five, or sorry, level two with the five BCX. And man, if, if you can afford it, the level seven is that much better. So bear, to me, Henchling is a is a buy, and Baron Fiat is probably a pass. I, I maybe I want one B6 of Baron Fiat just for that having ability, just for that versatility, or maybe I get a level two so you get that one extra damage. But frankly, without the camo, without the ambush, I keep saying camo. Without the ambush, I don't know, and therefore you'd have to go level three. And frankly, hundred eighty dollars for this card doesn't make sense to me. Even with discounts, probably 120 bucks. I'm thinking, no, I'm just, I'm just gonna pass on that one. And Henchling Enforcer, I say, worth it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Have an amazing day. God bless.